forget what year it was, but I invited people from all over to come to Hartford Avenue Baptist Church because Hartford Avenue Church has a history for me as a child because I knew their first pastor and this pastor they have now was still a little boy and the free press uh, writer published a picture on the back page of the paper one day showing me up on the platforms giving some kind of lecture with Coleman Young at my back and Hartford Avenue passed the church, little boy sitting on the floor. <laughs> so they're sort of special to me. And um, when Betty asked me, could, could, could we have it there? We, we, I don't know why I asked her this, she asked. But anyway, we had, we had a birthday party out there one year. Hartford Avenue Baptist Church. There are some things about our people that are so unique like the Underground Railroad at Second Baptist Church. There are some things about our people that are so unknown. So, so I mean, people kept them as the dark secret. But I would like to see, and this is my word to you, I would like to see the Underground Railroad at Second Baptist come up to par with Dr. Carter as one of the leaders of that movement. I would like to see the, the remnants of the people who left Second Baptist and went to Hartford, the remnants of those people, I would like to see those people brought into conversation with all the churches of the city to speak because when I left Equal Justice Council, pastor, pastor, the present pastor, took over my prison ministry and, and sat on the board for a while. I had to remind him he does so much work that he belonged to me. So all of us have, have some memory. And I think if you write a book of memories, you each have something to say. Because whatever you say you did, I have no, I may not have a memory of it, but I know you would not lie to me. So you would, you would tell me what we did together. And we can publish it, we can, I don't mean publish by book, book form, but we can publish it by leaflet form, we can, we can talk, talk about it as a newspaper article, we can develop our own thing. You know, I've got a few more years left. <laughs> I don't plan to go anywhere. This is a birthday celebration. It's, it's true that I won't be leaving and running to the meetings and speaking and da 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 so let's get busy. We got a whole lot of work to do. <laughs> we got so much work to do, there's no hand big enough. There's no heart large enough. There's no mind strong enough to hold the treasures that we have inside of us that would make a new world out of the city of Detroit. Wonderful. No one. You can do anything you want to do. Thank you. You can do anything you want to do. You know, most of us talk a good fight and go home and go to sleep and think we've already fought it. <laughs> you know? But if you're really willing to fight it, then join the Women's Conference of Concern. Join something else. Even join my church. <laughs> the FBI thinks this. This church is so strange, strange to see because my pastor, Dr. Ryan, who was a healer, could say to you what she wanted you to know, and it would be indelible. So she designed the words of the Ryan Temple of Mental Science. And of course, that's what the mental she was talking about, her mind and God. But mental meant something else to the FBI. Mm. You know, it means somebody over here is teaching uh, something to do with your mind and we can't have that. So I don't know whether they've been inside the church or not, 
but they certainly have been on the outside of the church. The reason I know it is because they told me so. Mm -hmm. Because see, they, they hang out with people, politicians that they think are their friends. <laughs> you are not alone in the city of Detroit. You are not alone in the city of Detroit. You are not alone in the city of Detroit. As long as you walk, as long as you talk, there's somebody watching you and looking after everything you say and do. But if you're strong enough, if you're bold enough, if you're believing enough, if you're Holy Ghost filled enough, you can do anything you want to do. Do you hear me? Yes. You can do anything you want to do. I can do what? All things. Wait a minute. No, 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 that's not what it said. All of us together all said, I can. I can. You don't have to come back to the church, but you have to come back in memory. You have to come back to where you heard that. Heard that so you can every day say to yourself, I can do all things. I can do all things. I can do all things. Through Christ. Through Christ. That strengthens me. That strengthens me. But now you can't do that if you're holy evil. You know, sometimes we we, we shout we and say a good word and feel so good. Everything's all right. Everything's all right with you know so and so and so and so and so. And so. We ain't got to be rid of the little so and so and so and so and so and so. Do you hear me? Yeah. Do you hear me? Yeah. yeah. I, I don't hear. I, I don't believe you hear me. Yes. 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 So we haven't got time to lie. We haven't got time to steal. We haven't got time to. <laughs> Never mind, we haven't got time. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got time. <laughs> but you know, if you got time to do anything, let's do it together. To, the word together is the word that strengthens us. If you have something going on on your side of town and I can't get there, let's do a friend. You know, whatever we can do to make this world a better place. You know, I, I said a thing about this new election coming up. Uh, I'm not going to go into that. Uh, but I, I just want to tell you that Joanne Watson ain't here for fun, fun and frolic. Uh, and however she does it, that's her business. But my business with her is elect Joanne Watson back to the city council. But that eighth place or seventh place or whatever the heck that place is, it's not good enough, you know? If they're going to dig into anybody, let them dig into some of their own cooks. they got enough cooks out there, you know? Because we don't own the newspapers, we don't own the, we don't own the radios, and we don't own the television. So, wherever we can people through, let's people through, let's fight back. Let's get the right people in. I'm not telling you who to vote for, I'm just telling you to vote. And to get people ready to vote. And to vote for Joanne Watson if you don't vote for nobody else. <laughs> 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 well, everybody has a right to say vote for my friend. So you got a right to say vote for my friend, whoever that is. But that's my friend. So I'm asking you, to think with me. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Say it again. I can do all